Good morning, Patrick Henry. Welcome to Friday morning meeting. Some of you may have noticed I have moved my location again. Each Friday morning meeting, I will move my location and see if you can recognize it. Some of you may have recognized that I was in the story well of the light bulb lab last week. Let's see if you can figure out where I am this time. This week, our VIP is Kanan Fabian, and he will join us right after the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, teachers, and staff. My name is Kenny Fabian, and today I will be teaching you all about trust. Trust is defined as being the firm belief that someone or something is reliable, able, gives truth, and strength. Some scientists say that trust is the human nature and is broken within our brains and that it is the glue that holds us all together. Trust is important because it allows us to live and even work together. We feel safe with trust and feel like we belong. When we trust others, we allow them to help us sometimes too. It is fragile and sometimes it is hard for us to trust others or our trust can be betrayed and it hurts us. Dr. Stephen Covey was a motivational speaker and writer about life who once said, while speaking, trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundation principle that holds all relationships. This quote, he said, really made me understand what trusting someone and even ourselves can do for our lives. He was right on because he, we, were, we all have had to trust others and ourselves at some point in life to get through things. And for myself, my life depended on trusting others. My own experience was when I had to have my brain surgery last October. I was so afraid and nervous because I knew I could be paralyzed or even die. My mom said to trust the surgeons, the nurses, her, and everyone else that had been working with me for four months. She said they all went to school for a very long time and, and not that many people can be what they are. She said trust myself most of all because I was strong and brave and could get through anything in life through at me. I was so afraid, but I did what my mom said and I trusted my doctors and everyone else that they would make sure I lived. I trusted that they knew what they were doing. I trusted my mom found the right people to help me. I put my trust in all my friends, family, teachers, and even strangers, that they would help me get through this. I trusted everyone with my life because I was sick and I believed that they could make me better. By, by me understanding what trusting someone meant, I am a lot better today. I made it through surgery and recovered super fast. I was walking the second day in the hospital, and since then I have been doing things that amazes everyone. It's all because I kept trusting myself and my abilities of getting better again. Thank you for listening, and have a great Friday. Bye! Thank you, Kanan. Great job. Building and maintaining trust is so important. Now on to this week's Kachas. Ms. Coleman has a few conscious for the week. She would like to thank Rian, Anna, who always show up for a small group and are ready to learn and participate. She would also like to thank them for taking ownership of their own learning. She would like to recognize Deshaun, Everett, Ashaya, Sydney, Jason, Zavi, Alyssa, Aaron, Samia, Aiden, Kanan, 
Oliver, Sonny, and Mateo for always being engaged and actively participating in class. Thank you for always volunteering, staying focused, and following along. Way to lead, guys. Miss Grimes has conscious for Kabayu Claiborne for consistently being on camera, being respectful, and actively participating in math lessons using the tools he, she and Mr. Swartz taught him. Jeremiah Spain for being excited about least common multiples and denominators and really showing his fluency with multiplication. Ms. Mrs. Grimes loves when you participate on the whiteboard and show your work for the problems given. Huxley for staying focused in class and actively participating on the whiteboard app. Oliver for having such a positive attitude in all of our meets. You consistently log in with a smile on your face and ready for class, even when you're on vacation. She enjoys hearing your stories and appreciates your participation in math class. Mrs. Grimes also has conscience for Mr. Swartz and Ms. Stark's class for making it to our live science lessons, being open to draw, and being creative together. She loves getting to know all of you a little bit better. Ms. George has conscious for Landon Lamar Robinson for always being respectful during class, especially small groups. When he does not understand something, he listens patiently to the teacher's expectations and explanation and is always willing to figure it out and work hard. Ian Robinson for participating in whole group. You offer so many great stories to our chats and I love when you raise your hand to share. Marshall Simmons for getting into Art Fridays. It can be intimidating at first, but he is now offering to share his art with the class. Rowan Lyle has grown so much in her reading. Yahoo! She is working hard at home and it shows. That will do it for the conscious for this week. I look forward to even more next week. So as you do your best, do your best because it's the right thing to do and it makes you a better person. Before I sign off, I do have one special announcement. Jalice Melson is our 2020-2021 Scholastic Standout. So pump your fists and raise the roof as we celebrate Jalice and her accomplishments as she represents Patrick Henry as our Scholastic Standout. Awesome job, Jalice, awesome. Everyone, this does it for this week's Friday morning meeting. Have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend. I encourage you all to read a great book and see you on Monday.